Find Love or Die Trying is a free visual novel that's available on Steam. I don't really dive too much into visual novels, and when I do, I have weird penchants for certain types of visual novels that I enjoy. Um, So this is going a little bit out of my normal comfort zone, but I did quite enjoy it. Find Love or Die Trying is inspired, I would say, by Doki Doki Literature Club, where you've got like a twist coming in from where you think something's going, and then it veers off on a tangent. You choose your gender and pronouns before you begin, but you never see yourself particularly on screen. It's just how you're referred to in the text. But you're bashed on the head and you wake up with amnesia in a TV show. There you're greeted by Kat. Kat is the show like staff runner, and she explains to you that you've got seven days to find true love from a soulmate or you'll be killed. If you tell anyone else about the stakes of the TV show, they'll all be killed as well. So you're kind of sworn to secrecy that you can't try and escape and you can't save the girls either because that will kill them off and they'll be returned back to the normal world if you play by the rules and find true love. Of those five girls, they've all got different personalities, but they all fit a very specific trope. So you've got Ali, who is the athlete and is all like, wow, positivity, everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Scarlet is a scientist who is looking all seductive and like, ooh, up front, but is actually a big brainiac. Uh, But she does like to blow things up, so there's that. Uh, Violet is someone who is all like, look at me in the kitchen, but actually she's like a power executive in a corporation. Terra is essentially a Twitch streamer. (laughs) There's nothing else to say about her. She just wants to play games. Um, You've got Yui, who is your... um, school friend but you don't remember her because you've got amnesia um and she basically has a crush on you and is not going to let you escape (laughs) you're placed with these five um ladies constantly in front of you for you to then choose a couple to kind of go on dates with and that's the real choices of the game is prioritizing who you're going to go on dates with because the way how the story unfolds you'll have to kind of go on dates with all of them at some point but then who you constantly say, oh, I've got, I had an awesome time with and this, that and the other starts to prioritise who you're going to end up with towards the end. But this game gets more and more sinister as you get wrapped up into a time loop and basically have to keep playing the dating show over and over again, trying to find out how you can escape because when the ratings drop, because you're either finding love and the ships aren't quite what the online world want, You'll all get canned and you get told to be beaten up, knocked unconscious and brought back in again from the very beginning, completely forgetting what's going on before. And this leads me to my main criticism of the game. Um, Sometimes you're a step ahead of what your protagonist is that you're uh, reading, essentially. And so because you know more than what the characters do on screen, it kind of makes you go, oh, come on. Uh, and you want to like shake your own inner protagonist <laughs> as they kind of dawdle on. You're thinking, oh, these choices make no sense because I know that both of them are stupid and she can't be trusted and he can't be trusted, blah, 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 blah. Um, so that was a bit of a shame. However, what I would say is that from the comedy side of things, I did enjoy the adult themed comedy that ran alongside it. Kat's got five kind of little clone guys that she orders around for staff. They've all got stupid personalities. They all find themselves in stupid situations and one of them's a total pervert. So that kept me amused for that kind of uh, humour as you go through the kind of almost Dangan Romperish style um, who's going to die or who's going to fall in love this time. Uh, story as it unfolds so yeah it's free there is bonus dlc like for a supporters pack if you do want to purchase that to support the developer and that contains extra bonus artwork and the soundtrack i quite like the soundtrack to be honest it was quite nice and varied more varied than the art i appreciate it's a free game the art was very static although it was certainly passable uh, and does a decent enough job to sell the visuals and characters in the game So yeah, find love or die trying, out now. It's free, go grab. Higher Plane Games is part of the Higher Plane Network. 
a completely independent media outlet supported by people like you. The goal is to create the best possible content that cultivates a richer indie scene for games as well as music and entertainment. To find out more and to get involved, visit patreon.com forward slash higherplanenetwork. Your support makes all the difference, and in return you'll gain access to bonus content and downloads. Thank you for watching.